praise the Lord. I want to welcome every one of us to this wonderful time in the presence of the living God. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to us on the topic perfect peace. Perfect peace. And the way I'm going to be doing it is such that I'll be defining peace. Peace is a state of tranquility. Peace is a state of freedom from disturbance. Peace can equally be said to be uh, a state of absence of war, a state of security, a state of wholeness, a state of fulfillment and the absence of fear. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you. And he went ahead, he said, My peace I give unto you, not as the word giveth. One important thing I want to give you assurance of in a time like this is that you have peace. You have peace. The moment you have given your life to Christ, you have peace. In the, in the same Bible, we are made to know uh, precisely in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 1, to let us know the way we can enter into the peace of God. That the moment we have given our life to Christ, we have peace with God. So at a time like this, it's very important for every child of God, for every abundant lifer, to be aware of the fact that you already have peace. There is peace. But the, the kind of peace I want to share with us today is perfect peace. And this can be found in the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, and I'm going to read for us. Isaiah chapter 26, and I read verse 23, uh, verse 3. Sorry. It said, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Now, we see another level of peace. The peace that I've spoken about earlier is the peace that you have with God, that you have settlement with God. There is no more animosity. There is no more I mean, uh, division between you and God. That's the first peace. And this you can gain by accepting Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior. At a time like this, you need to understand that. If you are not giving your life to Christ and you want to enjoy the perfect peace I've spoken about, the number one thing you need is Jesus in your life. And it's so easy. You can accept Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior, and it's going to be amazing that you have settled everything with God. And then in the same Bible, we are told that, therefore now there is no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. So the moment you are in Christ Jesus, there are no more condemnation for you. You are in Christ already. Now, the book of Isaiah talks about perfect peace. In Hebrew, perfect peace means shalom, shalom. It's talking about a double peace. And it is possible for you at this time for you to experience double peace. And the way you can experience double peace is this. One, you need to stay your mind on God. You need to stay your mind on God. You stay your mind on God. And, and I'm, I'm going to be, in, in the next series, I'm going to be telling you how you can stay your mind on God. But let me just drop this before I round up today. Stay your mind of God means focusing on his word, focusing on his love, focusing on his power. Some of us in this present day, you know more about coronavirus than about Jesus. You know more about all the nitty, the A to Z of corona. You know A to Z of the, the, the challenges. But what I'm challenging us to do this moment is a settle down. This time of holiday, settle down to know your God. It is only when you know God that your mind can stay on God. And I, I'm going to be teaching you in this series how to practice your staying power. And by the time you practice your staying power, you are going to be amazed how you can stay your mind on God continuously. When you stay your mind on God continuously, then he can keep you. I want to give you an assurance. He that keepeth Israel neither sleep nor slumber. The implication is this. He is going to keep you. Once you fulfill your own part of the deal, by staying on God, you'll be amazed how the Lord God Almighty is going to keep you in that shalom, shalom that we have spoken about. So, meet me again as I go into the second series and I'm going to be talking further on perfect peace. Meanwhile, the Lord bless you. Enjoy the perfect peace that is spoken about. Thank you. God bless you.